Hi guys. Hasn't been a very good past two weeks for automobiles. Been having a bit of a problem here today. I went did a job installing a storm door. That went a little more difficult. But then again I got some more money for it too. I ended up the frame was bad and I had to build a new frame, but they paid me extra for that, so I did okay, but it was a hassle. But then coming home I heard this strange noise. And uh, I'll show you a missing section here, if you can see. See in the radiator here, here's the fan over here, the mechanical fan. Well, right here is the area where the electrical fan would be. I'll take you in and show you. This is the electric fan. Broken right there, see it? Broken on the bottom. These are where, these are two tabs. There's actual slots that go into uh, slotted metal on the bottom. And there, missing a couple of blades. I think that was the clunk I heard on the drive home. So at the dealership, they want a little over $200 for this. I think close to $250. But <clears throat> went online to uh, Auto Car Parts Wholesale. Yeah, carpartswholesale.com. And uh, they had that for 86 bucks. Also, the shroud, if you notice the fan doesn't have a shroud around it, that I screwed up myself last time I worked on it when I replaced the radiator. These Jeep Cherokees, for some reason, one weak point they have is after they're about five years old or six years old, the radiator tends to go bad on them. You have to at least replace one radiator in the life of the vehicle. But when I took the shroud out, I sat it aside and I stepped on it and broke it, I think, or dropped it, something. So I'm working on kind of patching it like that. But I also looked at... Uh, Car Parts Wholesale, there's another piece of it too, that's the other part of it. But Car Parts Wholesale has that for uh, $13 and something, so I don't know. I might finish up and just fix it just to have a spare. Because I'm in the middle of fixing it anyway, but within a couple of days, I should have a new radiator shroud on and can put that on. That was the reason why the electric fan was working so much anyway without the shroud on. I was kind of doing it the old way, if you will. Cars back when I was a kid in the 60s, they didn't have any fan shrouds, it was just a fan by the radiator, but... Then again, the engines nowadays heat up so much. Oh, I want to take you the other part, too. I want to take you for a little ride. Let me, we'll do a different two wheels this time. We'll go on. <clears throat> My Murray Spectra. See there? Even got a speedometer. So we'll go and take a look. I'm going to show you another thing that's been going on. <clears throat> And show you a little bit around my neighborhood, at least for a block or so. My uh, daughter lives, her house is a block away from mine, so. I know it's kind of like motorcycle videos, isn't it? Putting on gloves. Everybody starts their motorcycle videos putting on gloves. I'm starting my bicycle video putting on gloves, so. Here we go. Here's my house. I live in a cul-de-sac. I always like cul-de-sacs or dead-end streets. And we're going down the street. Half a block down will be the grade school, which they're working on. It's under construction. The grandkids are going to grade school anymore, so but that's what the grade school looks like. They've had lots of trucks every morning lined up here. They've been doing a lot of excavation. They had cranes in here a few weeks ago. Probably lifting, lifting up air conditioning units and heating units and stuff. So anyway, we're just down the street from where I live. And look at this white car in the driveway. This is my daughter's car. And last week,
she'd gone to a friend's house to drop her car off because they carpool. She's uh, going for paramedic training in Rockford at the hospital. She has to do hospital time. Well, it was sitting in the driveway of her friend's house. Somebody shot out the window, so I had to put this plastic on the window. And then, a couple of days after that, she was uh, just down the block at the gas station and, check this out, ball joint dropped. So, tow truck had to bring it back. So, this is kind of a shout out to my buddy Crichton. Um, we know each other from live video and uh, he caught up with me again on YouTube. So I noticed in his video, his, uh, his car got keyed all the way down the side. But this actually has, this story has a happy ending now. This car is going to be probably towed back to the junkyard or whatever, gotten rid of. But there is a happy ending. She called up the state and uh, asked them about her child support. They'd screwed up something on the child support. And uh, come to find out, she's he got a nice hefty check coming to her from the state of Illinois for uh, screwing up. They should have sent money to her that's been in an account. So she's got a nice big check coming to buy another car with. Probably not brand new, but something very, very nice used. She'll be able to pay for it cash. So it all turned out to the good. This one, I think, though, because I changed oil on it just days before, I put that expensive 15,000-mile uh, extended oil. It's like $5 a quart, that mobile. So I think before the junkyard gets this, I'm uh, pulling that oil out and reusing it because it probably doesn't even have 100 miles on it. And putting the old oil, I saved the old oil. I was going to take it to the reclaim, but I saved it. And it's going back in to go to the junkyard because they don't need any better oil than that anyway. So anyway, that's what's going on in my life recently. Kind of hectic, but I got a little bit of a surprise uh, coming up tomorrow for you guys. So stay tuned. If, if it happens, I think it's going to happen. So a little bit of a surprise. Watch for the next video. Take care, guys.